I'm not surprised, but I'm disappointed. I'm disappointed, but I'm not surprised. So Deshaun Watson has been suspended six games for violating the league's personal conduct policy. And there's a lot to digest here. And the first thing I want to say is I honestly suspect uh, expected him to be suspended a year. I thought he was going to be suspended a year, and I thought that would have been a fair suspension. But he was not suspended a year, obviously, only six games. And it really makes me question a lot of things. Like, how does the NFL really handle these suspensions? How do they, like, suspend Calvin Ridley a year, a full year, a full year's worth of game checks for gambling on his team when he wasn't even playing but then suspend Deshaun Watson six games for violating the league's personal conduct policy when he wasn't accused by just one woman not two not three not four not five not six not seven not eight not nine not ten not eleven not twelve but more than 20 women he was accused by and you might be saying oh there's not enough evidence so they can't really do anything and yes there might not be enough evidence But when it's that many women accusing him, it has to raise some red flags, right? Like, it it just has to raise some red flags, right? And it's just, you think about all these other suspensions, like how long Josh Gordon was suspended for, and how long even DeAndre Hopkins is suspended for this year. Six games, the same amount of time for PEDs. It just seems like there's really no, like, consistency when it comes to these NFL suspensions. And the thing that also makes me kind of sick about this is how the Cleveland Browns structured his contract, kind of knowing this would happen and making sure he lost the least amount of money as possible. You know, Calvin Ridley is going to lose millions and millions of dollars. I think I saw he's going to lose $11 million or something because he's going to miss out on all his game checks this upcoming season. Deshaun is going to lose, I think I saw around like $300,000, a little over $300,000. And yes, that's a lot of money. But compared to what Calvin Ridley is losing... It's like, wow, okay. Like, it just seems like there was really no major punishment had. And the thing is also, why did he settle if he's so set on him being innocent? Like, if he's like, yeah, I'm innocent, nothing happened, blah, blah, blah. Like, I I did nothing wrong. Why did he decide to settle? You know? Like, maybe he just wanted to settle, like, because he wanted to be done with it. Maybe. I don't know. But I feel like if you're innocent, you don't want to settle. You want to make sure people know you're innocent. So, yeah, this is definitely just disappointing, but I'm not surprised. Like, we've seen this happen before in the NFL. They really don't know how to handle uh, suspensions and stuff like this. And it just, I don't know, it's just, it's just kind of disappointing. And, you know, it stinks for Calvin Ridley. Like, yes, he, he did mess up. He did do something wrong. But do I think that deserves a year-long suspension? No, I don't think Calvin Ridley should be suspended a year and Deshaun Watson should be suspended six games. That doesn't make sense in my head. If Calvin Ridley was suspended a year, that really made me think that Deshaun would at least get a one-year suspension. Like, that's what I honestly thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be a year, and I'd be like, all right, I guess, you know, that makes sense. But six games, it's not enough in my opinion. Um, But what are you going to do? Hopefully the NFL kind of figures out how to deal with these suspensions sometime in the future. That is it for this video, guys. Peace.